What? I didn't even know that these existed. Good morning, everybody, and happy Mon Monday. Monday, June 26th. This has been a very eventful day, even so far. Well, over the weekend, we got Emma moved in. She's doing much, much better. She was running a low-grade fever yesterday, but I think that was just from doing just probably a little bit more than what she should as far as moving. And if you don't know, my daughter, Emma, had um, who lives in Indianapolis, she's... Um, moved into a new home and well she had her gallbladder taken out and last uh, Monday Tuesday and moved this past weekend into her new home so it's been a lot going on but she's doing fine we got home last night we got them settled we got them a good starting point um, and you know when you move it takes some time to get things settled and all that kind of thing. Mr. Fluffer Pants has have been having some problems so he's been like squatting and like peeing in places you remember mr poopy pants well that's been figured out oh maybe um that's all been taken care of but now we've got this problem so and i he peed on our new chair last night just a couple drops and i noticed it was bloody so i called the vet first thing this morning and just dropped him off he was not a happy camper but um they're going to run some tests so hopefully mr fluffer pants We'll be fine. And on a, like legally, his legal name is Johnny Cash, but you know, and I had to say, well, we call him Mr. Fluffer Pants. Anyway, so today I'm just kind of, I'm nervous about that, honestly. And I have to do, I have everything ready for my sales on Tuesday, but I just, I need to um, film a few things for my second channel. And honestly, I've got to go out at some point and get content for this channel because I have one more shop with me video. And I don't still, I don't think we're going to go to Mackinac. There's just so many things going on. And then, and a lot of, and a lot of expenses we've had these past couple weeks. So, and now with the cat, that's going to be probably kind of expensive. So I think it's just smart. It's a smart financial decision to just wait a little bit and maybe go, you know, at the very, very end of summer, very beginning of fall. I think hopefully that will be a better, a better time to go. So, but I've got to get content because I, I don't have any other videos. I have one more that's going to come out on Wednesday and then I don't have anything. So and I know a lot of you like these vlogs, but I cannot do the vlogs alone won't work. Everyone wants to see a shopping video. So I've got to go out. And honestly, I do need to get out and go. I haven't bought anything in a while. I don't think I've really gone shopping since, oh gosh, about a month, honestly. So I went to, um, the, well, my video that comes out on Wednesday, that was like two or three weeks ago. So, you know, I could use a good, a little shopping time. It's good for me. It's, it's good healing, I guess. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to get some started on answering some emails. I do have eBay. Hey, you know what? I was thinking, what am I going to do for vlogging today? I have some eBay sales. So, let's go pull those. All right taking a walk up here oh i wanted to show you too before we get to the ebay sales look at this cookie jar dad got he got that and look at how adorable these are look at the little tin the litho cookie cutter there's a uh, a rooster and look at the little tins those are really cute what's this one some bowls and this aluminum ice bucket and then you got a sunbeam this the double bubble um coffee percolator in it's never been used it's still in the original box and he got the kool-aid bin hey kool-aid so he he's been doing good while we've been away good job dad okay so we sold the hush puppies bank to miss lynn thank you so much lynn oh i know one of the things i think it might still be down there but it was a it was a uh, a game that actually had sold, but then the buyer, I, something happened with one of the other things, and so we just canceled the order, um, but it might still be over 
over by my desk. But the other thing was this. I think this is Hubbly. It's a little tow truck deal. It, the tires are, they're done. They are done. But, um, so those couple things sold. And let me go find the, come on, hush puppy, let's pick you up. Let me see if that, um, DVD is over here. I might, it might still be over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I didn't, it didn't even make it back. And it's so funny because this has been, <laughs> I've had this forever. Um, this was like, uh, GameStop had sold it. These were a lot of like my son's games that he just never played anymore. So, um, it didn't, it, it didn't even come with the original cover, but it does have, just has a disc inside. I mean, just something that you've had and you're like, oh, I can donate it or I can throw it up on eBay. And so that's what we did. And it has sold. So I'll get those three things, um, those three things packed and off to their new home. Okay, I just picked up my baby. Off her pants. Yeah. Hi. He not happy. But he could have kidney stones. They're going to run some, t they did take some blood and some samples. And so they're going to send those in and should know a little bit more answers tomorrow but i'm gonna get him home and a little bit more comfortable hello friends happy tuesday june 27th it's tuesday do you know what today is starbucks tuesday i'm going to starbucks this morning maybell are you excited that it's starbucks tuesday does that make you so happy I me too. What about you, Mr. Fuffer? Are you happy? He had a not so fun day yesterday. He went to the vet. We should get some sort of test results either today or tomorrow. Fingers. Well, you don't want to go to the vet, I'm sure. Fingers crossed. Everything is okay with them. Tell me that there wasn't any blockage or wasn't, you know, but he could have stones that are starting to crystallize. So. I know you're so mistreated. We'll get you something here in just a second, but I have, um, this is our new recliner and I have a blanket on it because that's where he keeps going to like, he's not really peeing, but he feels like he has to pee. So I have that covered up just in case. Cause I really would not like him peeing on my brand new leather recliner. So, but I hope that he's okay. So I'm, I'm really worried about our little fluffy pants. I hope you feel better. They did give him an IV full of antibiotics. So that's good. It's a little pricey, but you know what? There are pets. My pets are my children. So any amount of money that I have to pay, I will pay to make them feel better. Um, because I love them. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're your babies, you know, they're your babies with fur. So Maybell is wanting probably a treat. Do you want a treat? Yes. Oh, and I have on my yellow dress. Y'all convinced me to keep it, but I did get this yellow dress from Walmart. I thought I might start doing something like, like if I'm wearing one of the outfits that I got from Timu or Walmart, I could do like, like an outfit of the day over on Instagram. So make sure that you're following me on Instagram. I mean, if you want to see that sort of a thing. My glasses are from Lensmart. Don't forget, I do have a Lensmart code in the description. Um, if you are interested in getting some fun glasses, there is a code where you can save uh, some money on your order. They got a lot to choose from. You can get glasses and sunglasses. All right, I'm going to give Maybelle her treat. And then we got to go to Starbucks and we have a live sale today. We have a live, I have a meeting today at 11 Eastern and then I have a live sale at one and then another live sale at five. So, but stay tuned because there's going to be a fun announcement coming up very soon. So stay tuned for that. Okay. I'm here at the shop. Boy, that seems awfully close. I'm using a different little contraption, man. Why does that seem awfully, do I seem really close to you? Something's really weird. But anyway, I'm at the shop and I have a meeting at 11 o'clock and then I have my two sales and I went to the post office and have more boxes to open. I have got to do something. 
about this here area. Look at that. That's ridiculous. I, gee, my fairy godmother has sent me so many things. I need to, to, to film my opening of this. All of that is friend mail. And I just picked up these boxes of friend mail. One of them is something toy. So I think my fairy godmother might be up to something. I also have some more clothes to try on. Three more Timu orders and one on the way. And those are all from Sheen. I thought maybe I would give Sheen a try. You know, Sheen's been around for a long time. But I ordered some things and I wanted to kind of compare the clothing. So that's going to be in the horizon. If I can just make time to do it, that's my problem. See, I don't seem as close as I was before. Maybe I had a weird setting. I am not a videographer. So what you see is what you get. I just hit record. My settings could be all wackadoo. I don't know. But this video is going to be kind of probably several little bits of the day. It's probably going to be long. And I, I know I say that all the time. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to. If Well, I want to go on vacation this weekend. I just don't know if it's a smart idea. Because I spent. I just had a. I just. I don't know. I need to make up my mind. Why is this such a hard decision? I don't know. It's it, it's not a bad problem to have, but I I took all last week off of work. I don't want to take another week off next week. So I'm still trying to decide. Maybe by the end of this vlog, you will have all helped me figure it out. Or you'll just look at this vlog and you'll be like, you are an idiot. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people already think that anyway, but... I'm just trying to figure things out. Tomorrow is shipping day. Luckily, my whatnot sale is booked. So that's easy. That's an easy peasy thing to ship. But I've got all this pottery to ship. Primitives pottery. But that's not that's not going to be a lot of fun. But I don't mind it. Honestly, I don't. I can ship it just fine. It's just... I don't know. I'm in a weird mood this week. I'm not going to lie. I really am in a really odd wackadoo mood. Look at my forkies up there. Squirrel. Lisa, you see your big forky holding hands with little forky. Anyway, all right, I'm going to get ready for this meeting. More things to come. Great things to come. I'm excited. That's all I can say right now at, it, at this juncture. Juncture. Is that a word? Anyway, okay, I got my Oh, look, I'm going to show you. I got my Starbucks, and look. And on my little cozy, my little Grogu coffee cozy. Who else has coffee that looks like that? We love a red lip, but a red lip is messy. Anywho, all right, I'm going to get ready for this meeting. Going to have my live sales today. So I'll be here a little later tonight, and then I'm going to go home and probably have Amy's enchilada. Mark is going to make a home chef. We switched back um, from Home Chef to, uh, what's the other one called? Good grief. I'll put it up on the screen because I flip back and forth. Let me tell you, the Home Chef, I've had some problems with things. Like one never showed up. They're really, really good about if you, if you talked with them and you didn't get your thing or your orders were messed up, this, that, and the other. They will make it right, but... I'm going to give um, the other one, Good Chef. I, I'll put it up on the screen. I'm going to give that one a try uh, again. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys use, I really like the, where you we can cook together kind of thing. So I don't want something that's already prepared. I know there's like, what, Blue Apron and all those other ones. Let me know in the comments. Do you use one? And which one is your favorite? Because I really like the, I like getting... All of the ingredients and Mark and I can cook together. I like that aspect. But I don't know. There's just something about I'm not something I'm not real happy with. So let me know in the comments what what um, food preparation service do you use and have you what ones have you had good luck with? Hello and happy Wednesday, the 28th, the 28th. I just got done with all of my shipping. It's all back there getting ready to go into my car from my both my whatnot sale and the YouTube sale. So that's really, really good. I'm glad that's done. It's 
I got started at about 8 o'clock. I shipped over 80 items and got done by 2. So it can be done, people. It can be done. I do it by myself. But I am getting ready to film for my second channel. And I also, when I come in here tomorrow, I'm going to open up friend mail. I, but I've got to film for my second channel as well because it's all getting away from me and I need to I need to do that. We did decide not to go to Mackinac this next week. Um, you know, with all of the smoke. Canada! Oh, Canada. Your fire is making lots of smoke. I hope that that gets contained. I'm so worried about you, Canada. You must save the chips, Canada. Save the snacks. I mean, that's not a joking matter. It really isn't. I, it's really, really unfortunate. And I'm, I'm, I'm really honestly worried. I'm worried about you Canadians. I hope that you are all safe because that stuff that you're breathing in, that, that can't be good. Well, I know it's not good. It's not good. So my thoughts and my, my wishes are with you and hope that you're staying safe and that it can all get taken care of here really, really soon because it's very serious. <sighs> Okay, well, I'm going to start filming um, a tr some try-ons. I got Walmart over there. I got Sheen. I got Timu. I got all th kinds of things to try on. But I got to get going so I can actually get some things done. So I have some videos ready to edit for next week. So I'll check back in later. Hello, friends, and happy Thursday. Today's June 29th. I'm at the shop. It's thunderstorming. And I have a lot of friend mail to open today. So the majority of today's video, today's vlog, will be me opening friend mail. That's a lot of fun. I hope it's fun for me. I hope it's fun, it's fun for you too. But I did have three eBay sales all sold to the same person. So that's great. So let me pull those items and I'll show you them now. All right. So we've got this. Let me tell you, I I got two of these in my subscription, my beauty, uh, my um, one of my Ipsy boxes. I kept one and I listed the other one. I use this all the time and I absolutely love it. One side is like a bronzer and one side is a blush. Love that. And then we've got the Volition Golden Eye Brightening Serum. And then another set of their Sony. Those are Max Maxell. Sony little camcorder Nope, not you. Well, let me look for them. Well, it's no wonder why I couldn't find them because they already sold. I don't understand. This is like the third time that this has happened to me with eBay. Let me know in the comments. People have let me know before that eBay will like relist things that have already sold. That was one of the things that had already sold. So Sandra, I'm sorry. I, I will send you these things. And I'll make sure that that gets canceled and you'll get refunded. But that just, I know it's probably some sort of a glitch. And other people have told me when it's happened to me before that it's happened to them. You let me know in the comments. How often does it happen to you? It's very frustrating because I want my customers to be happy. And it's not very happy if an order gets canceled. So that's not good. That's not good. Well, I sold two things. I sold two things. The third thing... I'll have to go in and cancel and refund the buyer. It's a shame. Okay, guys, I'm going to open up the friend mail. And I have quite a bit to open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. And I haven't gone to the post office yet. You guys are so kind and so generous. And I feel so bad that it's taking me so long to open this. But we're going to do it today. So this first box here, this is from Kim. Desert Gal Curios. Look, happy 4th of July. She told me she was sending me something for the 4th of July. And I'm making sure that I'm opening it right now, Kim, so I can put it in my home. 4th of July is on Tuesday. And you might hear some, like, claps of thunder and lightning. Thunderbolt of lightning, very, very frightening. Because it's storming. It is stormy. Oh, here's a little note. Misty. That's me. Hi, Bob. 
All right, Bob, did you Bob, did you help pack this? It says, Dear Misty and Mark, just a little something for you to help celebrate the 4th of July. I hope that this brings you joy and a smile as it did me as I made it for you. There will be there are a total of six items to view as you open this, so please extend it to its full potential. I have included a picture of the first Ohio extravaganza event. Oh, Kim was there. Bob was there. Bob and I thoroughly enjoyed the event and meeting everyone there. There was a great group of people that attended, and you and Mark and Michael and Richard are just as you seem on your videos. Thank you, Kim. That means so much to me. I hope your July 4th is wonderful, Kim and Bob. P.S. Prayers for Emma as she heals from her recent surgery. That's so sweet. Hi, Bob. Bob is my fellow Grogu fan. I, he likes the Mandalorian, but not like I like the Mandalorian. You know what I mean, Bob? Not in that way. All right, I'm going to save this paper. Kim has made some items for the 4th of July. Oh, how sweet. Okay, look. Oh, oh, I love this. Look. Oh, look. There's Mark and me and Kim and Bob. Oh, I love Bob. Bob, I want to give you a big hug again. I'm giving you a big hug. The Ohio event. Oh, that was so much fun. I can't wait till we do another one. But here is the box. Look how pretty that box is that Kim made with all of the bows that she's put on it and the little heart and all of the paper. That is so pretty. Oh, to Misty from Bob and Kim. Let me open it up. Oh, we're going to open it. Oh, oh, so you open it up. Okay, I might have pulled a little too hard because I think I took the lid off, Kim. But you open it up. Okay, I'm gonna have to show you each panel. It's like a little thing, little display that you put. Look at that. They're at those little children, little babies are at the beach. And look at that. That's a little patriotic cupie. And then... Oh, I love, this is, it looks like, um, um, Eloise Wilkin, is that Eloise Wilkin too? I bet it's Eloise Wilkin. Oh, it's so sweet. And then we've got more cute, oh, oh, this is like a junk journal box. It's all coming, it's all coming together for me now, Kim. Look at the little cutie ornament. See, there's the little hanger. And then it goes in the little pocket. There, there are such talented people out there in the world that can make things like this. I am not one of them. Oh my gosh, look, Eloise Wilkin. That's her, that is so cute. Shake your sparkler. That is adorable, Kim. Oh, okay, I am going to display this in my home. So when you display it, I get it the right way. You can just like sit it up on a shelf like that. Or if you just want three of them to show, three of them can show. I love, Kim, I will treasure this. This is something that I'll put out every year. And think of Kim and Bob. Thank you so much. That was so, so, so lovely. I love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love the picture. All right, I have a couple of Amazon Amazon bags. It doesn't say who this is from, but Zach. What is this? I don't think this is it. Because you look at things that I've ordered for myself doesn't go to my P.O. box. So this might have been sent to me from somebody. But I don't know who. Oh my gosh. Look at, look Bob. Look Bob. Little baby Grogu. Ah. Baby Grogu. Oh, I cannot wait for the next season to start. It's a little water bottle with a little sippy straw. I love that. That's great. Whoever sent this to me, thank you. I love it. There's no, there's no note. I don't think, no. Thank you, mystery gifter. I love that. Let me know in the comments if it was you that sent that to me. Because I want to be able to thank you properly. Maybe there's a note in this one. Maybe it was sent by the same person and there's a note in this one. Oh, there's a note in this one. 
Maybe that's for the other one too. It says, Dear Sweet Misty, I love all of your videos on both channels. Happy belated birthday. More to come. Uh, if you already have these, you can exchange them. Love you bunches, Lisa Green. Lisa, did you send me the other one too? I don't have these. And it is, it is getting ready to storm. It, it might look like I have purple hair. That's a little neon sign I have above my head. It kind of gives off a weird glow. My gosh, look at him. So these were like blind bags. and I have a couple of them. But oddly enough, I don't have any of these. Look at little Grogu. He's using the force. So we've got that little Grogu. I'm going to have to use scissors. And then we've got, look, he's eat, little Grogu is eating. But look, there's the Mandalorian thing. And look, look at his little feeties. Uh, you know I have to smell. You know I have to smell them. I don't know what I thought it would smell like. But I have to smell him. Oh my gosh. Here, here's a little baby Grogu in his little, his little stroller that just floats along. He's so cute. Look, he's sitting in that Stormtrooper's helmet. Oh, he's so cute. I have a, above my computer... I have two little shelves, and I have these on there. I, if I remember, I'll put a picture in, and I'll put these little guys up there, too. Lisa, that is so sweet. Maybe you sent me the water bottle, too, Lisa. I don't know. But if you did, thank you for that as well. Well, I got a little something from, look at that, Tiger. <laughs> Tiger's Timeless Treasures. Follow him on the YouTube. He has live sales on Thursdays. He is a good friend of mine. He sent me a little something. Tiger, I've had this all sitting on this table for a while. You probably think, well, Misty's just rude. She didn't even say thank you for the thing I got her. All right. What did Tiger send? It's a book. And of course, of course it's wrapped in purple paper. Purple! Purple paper from Tiger. I bet it's a birthday present. Oh, oh my. It's Liberace Extravaganza. This book has his costumes and stuff. I always have to look. Listen, some of you may be a, a fan of Behind the Candelabra. It creeped me out. I do not want to see Michael Douglas as Liberace. And that, I mean, the, he, they made him look a lot like him, but I, it just weirds me out. But this is all about his costuming. Look at that. I had the fortunate event that I was able to visit his home in Las Vegas. Um, and I have a video on my second channel of that, and I'll link it in the description. But I got to see a few of Liberace's costumes they have on display there. Tiger, that is awesome. Thank you so much, Tiger. That was so kind of you to think of me. I love, I love Liberace. And you already know that. Okay. I have a box that is addressed to Her Royal Highness Princess Misty Pate from Jennifer in Missouri. I almost decided to go live and open up friend mail. That way I wouldn't have to edit anything, but I figured that would take me a lot longer and I have a lot to do today. So I might do that in the future. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like me to do in the future is to open up friend mail live oh aren't those beautiful oh some things fell out of the card are those pennies hydrangeas i don't know pennies let me know in the comments guys maybe maybe jen says dear misty a close are several nespresso pods in different flavors for you to try they're all labeled except for the two caramel colored ones. Those are caramel flavor. 
How clever of them. I'm also sending a stack of sheet music that I've been sitting, that have been sitting in a cabinet for years. I hope you will find a few you like. Keep, sell, give away, whatever works. Also, I found the cutest little globe when I was out shopping this week. I have so enjoyed watching both of your channels. I relate to so many things you say and totally appreciate your honesty and vulnerability. vulnerability That's a big word. Sometimes we are perfectly imperfect. Absolutely. Anyway, this is my summer of cleaning out. I know I have another globe in the basement, and I, when I find it, another little box will be coming your way. Jen in Missouri. She told me the city, but I'm just going to say in Missouri. Just to keep, just, just because. But in, she said, look, radiate positivity, and your energy introduced you before you even speak. Isn't that the truth? That's absolutely the truth. Okay, look, I know what this is. It's a globe. I have a ridiculous amount of them, but I keep buying them. One of these days, you're not going to be able to walk into my house because I've got so many globes, but I love them. I like them because, you know, we all want to travel. We love to travel and explore new places. And quite honestly, I love the colors on them. I love that it has like a little wood grain. I don't care if it has the bottom or the key. I just use them as display. This one is a J. Chen. J. Chen and a lot of them were also made by Ohio Art. But Jen, I love that. It's going to go with the rest of them. It'll be in good company. Oh, okay. Look at all this packing material over here to save. The Nespresso pods. Do you have a Nespresso? I'm sure Jen does. But if you don't have a Nespresso machine and you liked iced coffee, you are you're missing out. I, I, tr I bought one for Emma from a yard sale. She said she only used it a couple times. It's like one of those things, if you don't really like coffee, you may not really want to spend that kind of money. And she was like, I just never used it. So we bought it and I used it a couple times because I kind of thought, well, maybe I would like to get one. And I've used it and I was like, oh, I'm totally getting one. And I did. I, I bought myself one for my birthday. It is amazing. The pods can be a little expensive, but in the long run, when you're looking at Starbucks runs, and it's actually cheaper. So yeah, these are the caramel flavored ones. Okay, I'm excited to try those. So this one is tropical coconut. Ooh, that'll be good. I, I like to try different flavors. Peppermint pinwheel. Ooh, yeah. And then we got more caramel ones, coconut, peppermint, and then there's this one. Pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin spice. Not even just in the fall, but all the time. Jen, that is a treat. Thank you so much. I will definitely try those out. Sometimes I think I should bring that Nespresso machine here, but I'm afraid if I did that, that I would like make iced coffees all day long. Now that could be, that could get to become a problem money-wise. These are my favorites. Also, if you like gummy, sweet candy, licorice, and gummies, these are really, really good. The Sweet Tart Ropes. Cherry Punch and Twisted Rainbow Punch. They're tangy and good. Love those. Thank you, Jen. And then here is the big pile of sheet music. Well, you weren't kidding. I, I don't have this one. Wrap your dream in the red, white, and blue. Oh my gosh, these are great for the 4th of July for my gallery wall. Oh, I like I like these better than the ones I have on there. There's little George Washington. That one's cool. The Star Spangled Banner. Somewhere in the night. The Shrine of Cecilia. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. The big bad wolf. This is a Mickey Mouse one. Irving Berlin. That's great. American Lullaby. <gasps> Over the Rainbow. The Wizard of Oz. These are great. Winter Wonderland. Santa Claus is coming to town. Beautiful dreamer. <laughs> That's Stephen Foster. He's from Kentucky. I love, I love, I love sheet music. And again, I change out my gallery wall. Oh, that one's pretty. Dolores, the desert flower. Some of these were piano and some of these were ukulele. 
But I like to change out my gallery wall and it's something that you could easily do. Just take your frames down, put in your new sheet music and um, you know, that daddy and mother of mine. You got a whole new little display. These are great. Thank you so much, Jen. I will definitely, I'm definitely keeping a lot of these because I have a lot that I've not seen, but I, I might make up some lots. But wow, the Wizard of Oz. Thank you so much, Jen. That was, that was very, very nice. Thank you so much. And thank you for those coffee pods. <sighs> this box came from Enamor Amy. Meow, meow. I don't know if, I don't think I've ordered anything from Amy. Is Amy sending me just something? Because Amy's just kind of like that. She's very sweet. Was, did, I don't know. We're going to open this up and see. I didn't know. I remember seeing an email. Oh, this is a surprise. Lisa Green strikes again. Lisa. We're going to see it at the same time. Oh, it's upside down. Oh. <gasps> Ho, ho, ho! These are really cool. Oh my gosh! There's a little baby Jeff Jeff! There's a little baby Jeff Jeff in that Santa Claus hand. Little baby Jeff Jeff in his jammies. He, this is so cool. Oh my word. So it has the lights on the inside. Let's open it up and see. It does. It has the original lights on the inside. I don't really care if they work because I'm not going to use them, but I am going to decorate with this box. That is so cool. Little baby Jeff Jeff is telling Santa all his secrets. Santa's going, oh my gosh, that's a lot of information, little baby Jeff Jeff. Thank you so much, Lisa, and thank you so much, Amy, for sending it so, so sweetly. I really appreciate it. All right, we've got... Three more, yeah, three more boxes. This is from Dana. And she lives in Montana, a place I would love to see. It's beautiful there, I hear. Oh, I've seen pictures. Montana with all those mountains. Isn't that where Yellowstone is filmed? Is that where Rip lives? He's, he's my other boyfriend. I have many. I have many boyfriends. He's one of them. Oh, look, it's the Montana Riding Lawnmower. <laughs> it's a horse. Hi, Misty. I love watching your videos. They bring me much joy. Keep up all the amazingness, and I wish you only the best. I am bored and ra- I, I'm, She's not bored. She was born, born and raised in Ohio, but I moved to Montana a couple of years ago. It's really beautiful out here. Worth a visit, in my opinion. Enjoy the friend mail and feel free to keep, sell, any and or all sincerely Dana. Look at Dana. She wrote in different colored lines. It's nice and organized Dana and I like that. You got beautiful handwriting and you're not bored. You were born in Ohio. Hey, paper to be. Oh my. What do we got? Oh boy. We have Wishkins. Where are you people finding these? Because I have never seen these. They must not be sold in Indiana. I still have. I did yesterday. I filmed a opening up all the Blue's Clues blind bags. But I have a big old huge basket full of blind bag toys that I need to open. Oh, this is one that we don't have. So, <laughs> these little Wishkins are like these little critters, little animals. And they... They, um, they have a, like what they want to grow up to be or what they did grow up to be. This is a uh, Sue Flay. Get that? Cause guess what Sue Flay is? She's a chef. She's a chef poodle. She's ready to cook. She's got her little pots, her little pot and pan. Here's her little card. And it says that, um, she was born in Washington. Her nickname is Egghead. That's not very nice. Um, her favorite words are Bobby Filet. Look at her. Okay, so these are kind of interesting. The fun facts. That gives you all this information. It's really hard to see. But fun facts. I am capable of learning 300 to 400 words. I originated in Germany, not France. Did you know that about a poodle? I always thought that they were French. 
I have hypoallergenic hair. I did know that. I was bred for function, not fashion. I prefer people to animals. I don't shed. And I am the only dog that comes in three sizes. Toy, standard, and giant, maybe? I thought schnauzers came in three different sizes. I don't know about that, souffle. I don't know how many different ones they have, but I think I have three and they've all been different. Oh my gosh, look, it's Montana moose poop. Look at that moose, he's pooping. We can freshen our breath with his moose poop. They're chocolate peppermints. That's, you know what? That should go up on my shelf in my bathroom. It should, and it probably will. So now we've got Mario Kart. It's a mystery Mario Kart. Mario Kart mystery item box. Racing cup candy tin. I kind of don't want to mess up the box because I kind of like that box. Oh, we got the little flower. And they are Mario Kart winner's cup candy. That is really cute. All right, and now we've got, oh my gosh, dogs versus squirrels. We had kitties versus pickles. And then what was the other one that we had? Was it also dog versus squirrels? I don't remember. Oh my gosh. So we did get a, I think you're a dog, Elton. Um, Elton forms deep attachments. Motto, if you love something, don't set it free ever. I think this is a dog. <gasps> Look at his little, I get, he loves this dog, Look, but he kind of looks like a cat. But I, it's a dog, it's dog versus squirrels. Let's see, Elton, yeah, Elton is a dog. Does it say what, it doesn't say what kind of dog he is? Oh yeah, it does, he's a pit bull. Aw, he's a little pity. Oh, we got another, what is this one? This is an, a mystery emoji eraser. Okay, so let's see what emoji erasers we got. That's how I feel about going to Walmart. Meh. And this is what, this will be me after I get out of Walmart crying because I spent too much money. They just smell like eraser. They don't have like, they could have smelled like bananas or lemons, but those are cute. So you put them on top of your pencil. I don't have a pencil around me. Oh my gosh, Dana. Look, she sent a seed postcard from Montana. Wildflowers. I want to plant these. Plant by 2026. We're good. We can still. That is such a great idea. Dana, I'm going to plant your flowers in my backyard. Dana sent me Eloise Wilkin books. So I need to look to see which ones I have. I need to keep record. I don't think that I have this one. Birds. These, uh, her illustrations are, they're just so sweet of a young child. She just captures their little expressions so sweetly. Look at him. So there's birds. We help mommy. I think I have this one. And we help daddy. I don't think I have we help daddy though. The boy with the drum. And then this one's such a classic, a child's garden of verses. So sweet. Look at her. Dana, these are lovely. I just love them. I am work. I am going to do a deep dive on her as well. I got things in the works. I can't really talk about it right now, but I've got things that are that I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. I, I, it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff coming, I promise. Dana, that was very sweet. Thank you so much for all of those surprises. This, I have a feeling this is uh, gonna be toys because it's sure thing toys. Um, was this fit, sent by my fairy godmother maybe, Jean? Well, it's from sure thing toys. Well, I gotta, how do you open this box? I guess right there. Sure thing toys, but I am going to assume That it is from, I have it sitting right next to me, Jean, my fairy godmother. Now this looks nothing like Jean, but she's just a repre representation. Oh my gosh, it's a whole case. My goodness. Okay. It's a whole case of something. 
more shipping material in a box. I'll reuse all of those things. I, I, just yesterday I filmed, Jean had sent me an entire case of Blue's Clues uh, blind bags, and I filmed that yesterday. So I'm going to get that up very soon on my second channel as soon as I get it edited. These are Funko. These are Funko! What are these? They're Funko. They're made by Funko. Well, I did not even know that these were... Okay. Okay. Let me get these out of the box because I think that it it will go a, it'll go a certain way. I may have to film this video today. Are you, you're in suspense. Wait, just wait. Some of you will be like, yeah, whatever. But some of you will be like, what? I didn't even know that these existed. It's an entire case of Funko Pop. Oh, wait. We gotta do it right. If we're gonna do it, we gotta do it right. Funko Pop Mystery Retro Toys. Look at the glow worm. Do you see it? Mystery Funko Pop figure. Look at Stretch Armstrong. Look at the My Pet Monster. I don't know who that army guy is. I don't think that's G.I. Joe, but maybe it is. There's the operation guy. Are you Popeye? Oh my goodness. So these will be opened up on my second channel. Collect them all. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I, I hope that the Stretch Armstrong stretches. We're already 32 minutes in this video. It's going to be a long vlog. I have one more box to open. I'm assuming this is from Fairy Godmother. There isn't any, um, there's no note, but I'm going to, I'm going to suspect. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to have to open those soon on my second channel because I can't wait. Jean, thank you so much. I'm assuming it's from you because that's such a Jean thing to do. Yay. Oh, it's so good. All right. The last box is a doozy. I shouldn't have set it on the floor. It's big. It's from Shirley. Shirley shipped this all the way from California. Did that cost you a down payment on a house? Shirley. You can't be serious. I am serious. Don't call me Shirley. But Shirley doesn't mind this Shirley. This Shirley. But that's her name. You can call her Shirley. I don't think this is from Shirley, but maybe it is. I think this is, I think Fairy Godmother has struck again. Because, oh my gosh, what? Oh yeah, look, from Jean, Jean. Okay, you see how big this box is? It is filled. It's freaking filled with cutie fruities. We've opened these before. Cutie freaking fruities that don't smell. They really should smell. I know Gina would agree with me. But there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. There are 16 of these. Jean's like, I want you to, oh, I, I got, I got stuff for you for your second channel, Misty. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I'm not going to open them right now. You're going to have, y'all, you're going to, I, you're going to have to subscribe to my second channel, The Misty Show. That's where I'm going to open all of these and all of those. That's, that's insane to me, Jean. Oh my gosh. You are so sweet. Thank you. You guys, this is amazing. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, which if you know me well enough, you know, that doesn't happen very often. Holy tamale is all I have to say. 
Holy freaking tamole. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are so, so sweet. I don't even know what to say. I'm going to sit here for a moment and collect my thoughts. Give me a little bit more caffeine. Um, but I'm going to film some more content for my second channel. I am. And then I have to go to Walmart. I might pop in a little bit at Walmart, maybe. I don't know. This vlog is already going to be long because I've kind of stretched it out. I'm honestly, I'm out of antique shop with me content. So I'm act going to Indianapolis tomorrow and I'm going to, I'm going to spend the night with Emma and visit her. But all day tomorrow, I'm going to be shopping to get content for this channel. Um, because of the vlogs, a, a lot of people just want to see the antique stuff. So and I honestly, I, I do need to go shopping and I, and I want to go shopping anyway. I'm rambling, but thank you again so much. And I will pop back in here in a little bit. Hey, I'm out and about. I'm in the antique mall and I, you know, I'm at Riverside real quick and I have to make it quick. Huh? Oh, oh no. My little raccoon. Him's gone. We just got Mary and the rabbits. <laughs> Oh, little raccoon man got sold. Now maybe he's in a he's in a good home. Oh, but look at little abacus. That's how you do math. It's about the only way I know how to do math. This booth is nice. It's like a little primitive booth. Gotten a few things in here before, but I can't dilly dally. I gotta go over to check out booth sixteen. Ooh, that's that's the stuff in there. I like those. And turn the corner. Oh, I see Ruthie Newton right off the bat. Okay, this might be dangerous in here, guys. Look, there's a little Ruthie Newton. She's 22. Ooh, look at that. And Polly. We've got Holt Howard. We've got. Yeah. 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 Okay, I left Riverside and I got some stuff. Pretty much the things that you had seen me. I know it was real quick, but this vlog is quite long. And. You know, I can show you in the next vlog what I got. That's what I'll do. See, in the next vlog that I'll start filming on Monday, I'll unload what I got and I'll show you what I got. That's what we'll do. See, we have a, we have a great idea. All right. It's supposed to storm really, really bad. I've got to get over to Walmart. Wish me luck. Okay. I decided not to go to Walmart because it's going to storm any, at any, look at the sky. So I'm going to hurry up and get inside so I don't get rained on, but I played it safe. Walmart will be another day. It is really coming down. Maybell. Good grief. His barn's opening. Maybell's trying to catch the rain. Look at her. She's a weirdo. Woo! Look at her. You catching the rain, Maybelle? You're soaking wet. Yes, you are, Maybelle. Oh, there's Dad, by the way. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully it won't last very long, but boy, my, look at the trees. There she goes. There she goes. Crazy dog. Yeah, Maybelle. Get that rain. Get it. Get that rain. Okay. Well, that storm was 2.5 seconds long. Just a little bit of wind. Not that much. Just a little bit of rain. And it was over. I should have probably went to Walmart, but I didn't. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog because it's quite long. I kind of look like I stuck my finger in a light socket. Anyway. Um, I'm leaving for Indianapolis in the morning to go spend the weekend with Emma. So I'm probably not going to be vlogging tomorrow or over the weekend, but I am going to be doing some shopping because I need to get those videos filmed. So stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlogs. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for the friend mail. I just picked up some more today at the post office. So that'll be in next week's vlog. Oh, wait, before I go, just wanted to remind you that I am having a sale. We're not going to Michigan. I think I said that, but I'm having a sale. Monday night, Mother Tucker's Antiques. I will post in Instagram a reel and a short on YouTube to get a little bit of a preview. But this Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, Mother Tucker's Antiques. I'll put the link, the sale link in the description. Hope to see you Monday night. And Tuesday, 1 o'clock Eastern, 
the normal Tuesday Misty and Michael sale. So that's going to be up next week, Monday night, Tuesday night. I am not having a whatnot sale next week. Just those two sales. But okay, now I'm going to end the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hi friends, just reminding you that I do have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come and subscribe. And another reminder that I do have live sales every Tuesday right here on YouTube at one o'clock p.m. Eastern and then at 5 p.m. Eastern over on Whatnot. The link to all of my sales are in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Analysts, I miss my guess the boys will follow me around. I could make a music master, drop his fiddle, make a ball, hit a man, part his hair.